Would you drink wine made by prisoners? The small prison island of Gorgona off of Italy's northwestern coast is home to vineyards where in inmates in a job training program are part of the winemaking process. And the man making this possible joins us now. Lamberto Frescobaldi is a 30th generation winemaker and president of the Marchesi Frescobaldi Group, which produces 11 million bottles of wine a year on its six Tuscan estates. Lamberto, thanks so much for being with us. Hello. 30 generations, it's safe to say, I assume, that winemaking is in your blood. <laughs> I, I guess so, I guess so. And where did this idea come from? It's not the most obvious idea to pair inmates with winemaking. No, not so. And um, it was a really bad chance. I, I picked a, an email uh, from uh, the prison that was sent out to a number of wineries. And um, I picked it and I saw it and the, the, the email was actually um, quite, um, you know, was, you know, we have two acres, can you give it help? And, um, and so I don't know why I said, let's go for it. And, uh, and you went and you yeah. looked and there was something about the place and the inmates whom you met that made you think, okay, let's invest, let's make yeah. this happen. Yes. And how many now harvests have you had from that island? Now, we've, this year, we just finished our fifth harvest. Fifth harvest, fantastic. And the inmates are involved in all aspects of the project. Yeah, all in, uh, yes, from, from scratch, from the pruning to carrying the vines to um, harvesting. We actually, last year, we actually have planted two other acres then the, the picking, and then there is the cellar. The cellar is uh, in the island, and um, the first uh, inmate uh, winemaker we had was actually a, a, an Albanian Muslim guy <laughs> that uh, didn't drink wine, and, uh, <laughs> but when talking, the guy looked into my eyes and he said to me, I need to learn all things. And so you'd helped train everyone there on the island to make quality wine. Yes, you, and now your product is fantastic. Some people say it's one of the best you know, white wines from Central Italy, correct? Is that what you're Indeed, saying? I was uh, just uh, saw in a, a note, a comment on a from a from a wine critic. Um, and uh, the wine has been over over years very well accepted, and it better be because you know wine you do it every year, so it's not only a nice story to sell it once. It's, an, it's a nice story that goes has to go on and yes. on. And so, explain the the amazing benefits to the inmates because not only do they get paid to do this, which is a question some people had, they make a salary. They also learn a skill. Do some of them then go on after being released to working in the winemaking business? Um, the the the. the, the the winemaker uh, we had the first uh, beginning at the beginning he is now actually working in a cellar in north of Italy wonderful and um, mm, so they're learning not only to make wine and to train vines but they're learning something <laughs> even more complex they're learning to be pride again of doing a job and to be paid for that job and that's quite, um, it's funny enough, but it's quite unusual. For some people, they've been, uh, they've never had that experience. They've always uh, had a tough life and they always uh, misbehaved. And, uh, and then something clicks. And on um, that island, there are 75 inmates. They are a little bit have been chosen through the system. Mm -hmm. And they are the ones that they are giving a, a sign of really wanting to change. So the, they may have had violent pasts, but at this point, once they're on the island, they're towards yeah. the end of their sentences, exactly. and they've had good behavior. Yes. There is a, a very good reason to believe that they will do well after being yeah. released. Yeah. There is one thing that is called recidivism. Mm -hmm. That is roughly is around 70 to 80 percent, um, pretty much around the world. Uh, but if you have them... Mm, if you have inmates work and do something, be pride again of what they are doing, that rate drops at uh, between 5 and 15 percent. And that's a great that's, saving. Is that what you're seeing then from we are, the island? We are that's seeing fantastic. that. I think we could use some of this here in the U.S. Have you spoken to any corrections officials here? I was uh, contacted some, two years ago by one correction state prison 
And then, and then he didn't go on. He didn't uh, go forward. Forward. Uh, well, keep it up because it sounds uh, fantastic. And now you're quite, expanding to olive oil on the island. We expand. Yeah. This is a is actually another jail. Okay. Uh, another jail. Closer to Florence, uh, where inside the perimeter of the jail, the, there are olive trees that they were mm, not very well kept, and uh, and so this uh, project uh, began uh, last year. Uh, we did the first harvest in, in 2015, and hopefully we can go on and actually expand it also beyond uh, jail. And so they can also use part of that also for their families. Right. And again, give them something that they, they can actually see what they have done. A tangible product A tangible and a sense of product. pride. Well, thank you so much for bringing the wine. I'm so excited to taste it. This is the product. What this, about this 600 is bottles a year only? Uh, 600 bottles a year only in the States. Yes. 4,000. Uh, this vintage, 2015, was 4,000. 2016 vintage, they're going to be a little bit less. Right. And uh, and, so and there, it's about $100 a bottle here in New York. It's a $100 bottle. So when you grab the bottle, you actually want to know what is the, in the bottle, the story. The story. Yes. And um, it's a place that you can't go to visit the place, but you can Google it and see how one. Well, let's try it. Salud. Thank you so much for Cheers. bringing this. Wow, that's delicious. And I love white wine. That is wonderful. I would that, pay $100 for this, this not only because the wine is great, but because also the story behind it is wonderful. Lamberto, thank you so much for coming to thank see you us very today. Much.